What's up guys, I'm going to unbox and review this new Wi-Fi 7 mesh system by ASUS, it's the Zen Wi-Fi BT6. I'm going to do my full on speed test ratio using my following Wi-Fi 7 devices. I also have the iPhone 16 Pro Max which is a Wi-Fi 7 device, however, the iPhone can't go as fast as these two on the Wi-Fi speed test and I've made a separate video about that which I will link down below. I'll also link the product links as well. With the more recent ASUS routers, they put a sticker on the main one and it says just start with me. However, technically both of these are routers. So here's a closer look at the BT6. We've got the ASUS logo, we got LED indicator right here. We have vents on all the sides. We have a reset button and a WPS button. And then we have some more vents over here. And we got a USB 3.0, we got three gigabit ports. We have a 2.5 gigabit port for the WAN. And then we have a power port right here and then the power on and off switch. So in terms of size and shape, it's actually identical, at least it appears to be identical to the ASUS BT10. So this is the BT10 right here, and it's pretty much identical. Now the BT10 has a faster speed rating and has faster ports. It has one less port, but it has the faster ports. So the BT10 is obviously going to be faster than this without me even testing this. However, I'm expecting great things from this because of the BT10. And both of these, so I showed you guys the BT10. Now, this is back to the BT, BT6. And the, both of these are exactly the same in terms of ports and everything. So just, just as a heads up. And we got some manuals below it. So this is the power supply. It's 100 to 240 volts. And the output is 36 watts of power. And it comes with the CAT5e Ethernet cable. And CAT5e can actually even, at these distances, can even up, do up to 10 gigabits per second. So it's more than fast enough to handle up to the 2.5 gigabit internet speeds. So I got a chance to play with these, set it up as my main mesh system using the ASUS router app, super easy to set up, no drops, nothing like that. Very fast router overall. Really the only thing bad about this router is its gigabit ports that's limiting its speeds. Cause if it had more faster ports, it would actually more fast, more fast. Yeah, I can't say more faster, <laughs> more fast ports. It would actually be less capped. So that's kind of the big thing with this. So, very fast overall over Wi-Fi. And uh, yeah, let's actually just start with the internet speed test. So, when you're accessing the internet, you are limited by your internet speeds. For me, that would be five gigabits per second upload and download. However, this router actually is capped to 2.5 gigabit speeds because of the 2.5 gigabit port right here. Now, so when my internet comes in at five gigs, it connects to this port, automatically gets downgraded to 2.5 gigabits. And then when I come out of the gigabit port, because it only has one 2.5 gigabit port, when I come out of the gigabit port to my computer via ethernet, when I do a speed test, well, I pretty much get just under gigabit speeds for my speed test. Again, because the port itself is actually limiting those speeds. Now the Wi-Fi devices are a different story. So as you guys could see, when I did a speed test on Wi-Fi 7, I got 1900 down and 20, 2091 up which is a lot faster than the gigabit speeds I got over ethernet. Now the reason for this is because when I'm doing a Wi-Fi speed test close to the main router, the internet is at, at, the, at this, the main router, it's actually just capped to 2.5 gigabits. So the, it will allow the Wi-Fi to go up to those speeds. So when I do the speed test, that's why I get faster speeds over Wi-Fi than I do over ethernet. Next, we get to local speed test, and this is typically the way to find a true performance of the mesh system, because you get rid of the public speed test server, which can vary at times, and my internet service provider. So I make my computer into the server, and I go from Wi-Fi device to router to computer. In the case of wired and wireless backhaul, I go from Wi-Fi device to the secondary one, which turns to the primary one, which then goes to the server. And this, basically, because it isolates the mesh system, it gives me the true performance. However, because the speeds are capped to gigabit now that that's how I connect to the computer via the gigabit port, I'm actually capping my speeds to just under gigabit. So when I do the Wi-Fi speed test, I get just under gigabit speeds because in theory, the Wi-Fi can go faster, but it's actually being capped by the port. And the same is true for wired backhaul. And because this is a Wi-Fi 7 mesh system, it, it has a decently fast, more on the faster side of a speed rating, not the fastest, not the slowest, but uh, typically an overall pretty good speed rating. It also gets phenomenal wireless backhaul speeds, again, capped to just under gigabit. So whether these two are connecting to each other via ethernet or via wireless, I pretty much get the same speeds. Now here's the kicker. 
If I did an internet speed test on the wireless backhaul node, which I'm not showing in the graphs, but I just wanted to point out, if I do an internet speed test, if this guy is my main router and this is my secondary one, and I do a speed test on the secondary one that's wirelessly talking to the router, I got 1770 down and 1901 up. So slightly under the main router speeds, but absurdly fast. So the wireless backhaul on this is very, very good, just generally speaking. So that's why really the issue is that the gigabit port is kind of capping the speeds. So next we get to range test and range is another one that kind of, I was, ex I was kind of expecting something like this to happen because the Wi-Fi is so strong on this ASUS that really its only limitation is the gigabit speeds, the gigabit port. So at 20 feet away inside my place, got pretty much the full gig speeds, upload and download. At 50 feet away outside my place, I pretty much also just about got the full gigabit speeds on both download and upload. And then at 100 feet, this is when I'm across the street, I was expecting the speeds to go slower and it definitely did drop, but still got some very phenomenal speeds. Now the ASUS in general has so many options and what I love about ASUS is that all of these options are included in the price. There is no separate subscription. If you want parental controls, it has it. If you want additional protections, it has it. All of it is included in the price. So I really love, love that. You can separate out the SSIDs if you want to. You can even, another, so a question I get asked sometimes is like, does that, does this router support VPN? And, and this router does. In fact, this router takes that to a whole new level because you can actually make a separate SSID and that SSID could literally, if you connect to that SSID, you can have a VPN set up just for that SSID. So you can literally have a Wi-Fi network that's behind a VPN. Now you might be wondering like, well, why not have it, you know, why not set up a VPN for your main network as well? And you can obviously do that. However, the good thing about a VPN is it encrypts everything. And depending on the VPN you're using, you know, some are better than others, but it could hide your info. And basically that way, like, it's very hard to see what you're doing. So uh, typically, if you're not going through a VPN, if your internet service provider wants it, from what I've read, I, I don't, I haven't verified this myself, but it seems like they can access some of your history and see, and basically see where you're going. However, the beauty of a VPN is, well, you encrypt all that stuff, so they're just going to see encrypted stuff. They're not going to understand it. Um, so, but the problem with uh, a VPN is it typically slows down. So when you connect to a VPN, because your connection is going to some other server and then from that server it's accessing the internet, it's actually slowing down the speed. So you might not always want a VPN. Like if you're gaming, you typically don't want a VPN because uh, you want to get the best possible speeds. And I love the fact that ASUS offers that as a separate Wi-Fi network. So you know, it's like, hey, if I connect to this Wi-Fi network, I'm through a VPN because it's always through a VPN. And if I just want to do something else, I could just connect to my normal one. Now, this thing also comes with parental controls. But in addition to parental controls, just like the VPN network, you can actually make a kid's Wi-Fi network where you can actually set time limits on that Wi-Fi network. So you could, if you wanted to, like, let's say you have your kids have three devices. You can connect those three devices and then, you know, set time limits. Uh, block sites and, and block certain types of things that they can't see. But in addition to that, if you didn't want to do that, uh, or if you wanted to do that, uh, you can also make a separate kids Wi-Fi network, a, a separate SSID that your kids devices connect to, and you could literally put a time on that. So it really takes SSIDs to a whole new level. Not only can you separate out the bands, you can make separate guest networks, kids networks, you can make an MLM network, you can make a VPN network. I mean, ASUS from that aspect is phenomenal. Uh, and in addition to that, they have way more options. They have so many options. It's, it's, almost, it, it's almost like, do I really need this many options? It's like that many options. It's, it's, it's pretty crazy. And I actually love the fact that they give you so much customization that you can do. So is it worth getting this? Why or why not? Well, as always, it depends on your specific situation. So I would highly, highly recommend it for internet speeds of up to gigabit. It's an absolute 
beast of a mesh system. The Wi-Fi is so fast on it that it's really the Ethernet port that's limiting it to gigabit speeds, really. So, and it can handle internet speeds of up to 2.5 gigabits, but I would recommend it for 2.5 gigabit speeds if you're mostly on Wi-Fi devices or most of your ethernet or all of your ethernet devices are capped to gigabit speeds. So if your computer's ethernet port is capped to gigabit speeds, then this is fine because even if it had two 2.5 gigabits, you, you still weren't gonna get that because now your computer's limiting your speeds. But in terms of up to gigabit speeds, this is probably the best for the price mesh system probably the best for the it's it is phenomenal it's so good it, it's ridiculous it, it's really like it's achilles heel is its gigabit port um and that's why i say up to gigabit speeds uh and and again it can go faster than that if you're mostly on wi-fi and that's why i did an internet speed test on wireless back on the secondary one and i got much faster than wi-fi speed or much faster than gigabit speeds because i was on a wi-fi 7 device that can go much faster so if you need something beefier and you have a lot of Ethernet devices and they can handle those faster speeds, then I would go a step up. I haven't tried the BT-8, but the BT-10 is an absolute beast. It's, it's, BT-10 is beastie. And if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have questions or comments, please leave them in the comment sections below. And as always, thank you guys for watching.